हेलो वन वेलकम टू पार्ट 95 फाइव ऑफ एडवांस ई कॉम सीरीज इन लार्बल एट ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉडिन वर्किंग ऑन द कार्ड शॉपिंग कार्ड ओके सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट वी एबल टू डिक्रीमेंट इंक्रीमेंट अवर स्टॉक एंड द एरर मैसेज कम इफ इन स्टॉक इज नॉट अवेलेबल ओके सो सी प्रोडक्ट स्टॉक इज नॉट अवेलेबल एरर मैसेज इज कमिंग इफ द स्टॉक इज नॉट अवेलेबल एंड इफ द साइज इज नॉट अवेलेबल देन अगेन product side is not available error message is coming okay so in this video we are going to work on delete card item functionality in ajax so let's start see this is the delete sign this is the cross sign you can see with every card item and the if user will click on this card item cross sign or in this card item that this item we are going to delete and whenever it will get delete we are going to update the card with the help of ajax without refreshing the page and the everything will update here total subtotal okay everything will going to update okay so that thing we are going to do in this video so let's start so first of all open this blade file card blade file we are going to open so we know that we have created the separate blade file for this for each loop for this part of our card so we are going to open that and i'm going to open the card underscore item dot blade file okay these other files are already open from our last video so this is the file that we are going to open card item blade file and here see this time uh this is the button that we are going to update with id and class okay like in the same way we have added the class as well as the uh that card id that we uh, have sent to ajax okay so here with the close button as well we are going to send the card id of this one so card id we are going to remove uh, okay so card id we are going to send to ajax okay uh, so see card id we are already having in this plus and minus button and this card id uh, we can just simply copy and we'll add it here with the delete button as well okay so here one class i'm going to take so you can see here the button item update class we have taken uh, with a minus and plus button now i'm going to take another class uh, this one similar class button item delete okay so this is the class that will help us to run jquery on on click function okay and and we will get this id this card id there okay that we will send in our function to remove this card item from the card table okay so uh this one uh, we are going to see same like update card items i am going to copy this one complete and we'll uh, use it for delete card item it will uh, help us many of the things are same so this one is not required only card item item we are getting and here i will write button item delete okay so on the click of this one we are getting the card id first of all i'm going to check whether uh, this one is fine or not return false okay so let's see i'm going to refresh and see here uh, see 16 id is going 15 id is going okay so it is working fine uh, so now this card id we are going to send in ajax so this one is not required quantity we are not going to send so here i'm going to change the route this time delete card item this quantity we can remove okay so many things you can see are similar so this condition also not required now and uh, this one is enough okay so you can make these changes so see our jquery function is ready so fast okay uh, just we copy and make few changes and it is ready so this one route we are going to add here okay so we are going to add one route here delete card item okay so here i'm going to add another route post route and a url i have copied from there this route okay and i'm going to create function for this one products controller and here i'm going to make function like delete 
कार्ड आइटम लाइक दिस दिस वन आई कॉपी एंड आफ्टर दिस वन वी कैन पेस्ट हियर ओके न्यू फंक्शन पब्लिक function delete card item and here request dollar request like this so in ajax we are taking uh, the card id only card id we are sending from ajax okay so we are going to check whether it is coming here in function or not so first of all i am going to check it dollar data dollar request all okay so check once whether it is coming here or not okay after that we will write the query to delete this card item okay so uh, here go to add data like this so let's see here i will open the inspect element and on the click of this lead i am going to check now see this one lead and lead card item uh, route has called and we can click on this one card item is coming here in function okay it is coming here so if you will click here see now card item 15 is coming so it is fine okay so uh, we are getting the card id here now we can remove the item from the card directly we can give the query here where id uh, dollar data we are getting the card id okay we know that this is the card id same it is matching card id okay so we can delete this one this entry from the card table card table cards table okay card is our model and after that we will again copy that thing uh, that we have done earlier okay so nothing more to do just uh, we can copy this one uh, jacks response this response part along with the user card item this just copy and paste it here okay nothing else see user card item we want to show once again so status is true okay uh but here uh, status is not required because there is no false condition here so we can simply uh, do like this one also okay so nothing else required so we can try now and refresh here and remove this one also and see here see if i will click on delete this item will get removed and 2125 is moved away only the total will be 1350 so let's see without refreshing the page okay so let's see i am going to click on cross and this card item will get removed from the shopping cart okay see here the card item has been removed without refreshing the page and you can see the update in the shopping cart here here you can see the subtotal has updated okay and the grand total has updated and that item is gone away from the screen okay so one more thing we are going to do uh we will add one basic check in javascript uh, that confirmation check we are going to ask the user that uh, the user uh, means uh, want to uh, delete this item from the card okay because uh, sometime user by mistake click on this cross like user is clicking on the plus and by mistake click on this cross then we don't want to uh, mislead the item from the card Uh, because user may have uh, searched a lot uh, okay and after the uh, search that uh, then he added into the card so we will make sure that one message one prompt message must be gone to the user that you want if the user want then it is okay so uh, in uh, in admin panel we have done that sweet alert okay you know that we have done that but that will take some time sweet alert in jquery we have done uh, but now see quickly we can add the simple javascript alert as well and that is just one minute of task very simple okay that we can uh, add in one second one minute okay so not one second okay so simply 
uh, we are going to add here uh, that thing and uh, that thing is nothing uh, and uh, see just I am going to uh, take uh, one uh, variable okay and before ajax i can take this one here and that is variable result i can take it and here i am going to add the confirm and in confirm i just write like want to delete this card item okay so this one and if uh, the result uh, is fine if the user clicks on ok then only we can uh, do execute this one okay so this one we can uh, just add inside this if condition nothing else done okay so simple enough okay i think it is simple enough okay so just uh, uh, if we have added the confirm want to delete this card item and if he confirms then this will will execute otherwise we will not execute it will remain in the same page okay so let's refresh and see i'm going to click on cross see it is asking want to delete this card item no i don't want to delete cancel nothing will happen okay and if you will click on uh, uh, this one and he want oh yeah i want to delete okay then this will go on away okay see one simple step one basic thing okay you can uh, make your website in any way you want okay if you want uh, more functionality you can add some beautiful functionality uh, by spending more time and if you don't have time then you can also do that thing in a simple way okay so there are many ways to do the same thing only the question is of the time if you will get the time and for the learning purpose you must try all the things okay so now you can see once again i have added now this complete card functionality is in ajax that minus plus cross okay everything is in ajax okay so this part we will do after login register and that also we are going to do in ajax as well okay so how good it is you have seen that without refreshing the page our card is updating <coughs> okay once again i'm going to show c uh, minus it will say item quantity must be one or greater see here okay so if we click on plus then complete card update here you can see okay it is updating fine okay like this and if you are going to click on cross then it is going to remove this item from the card okay and if the quantity is uh, uh, not available then it will show the message like this product stock is not available okay so that is fine so if i will click on cross here you can see that uh, it will say want to delete this card item okay if you will click on cancel then it will not delete and if you will click on ok then it will delete okay and it will delete that one and only blue product has been left in the card okay so uh, that is done now and you can try at your end and and uh, if you have any query you can surely ask me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye